Welcome back. One of my friends recently bought her first Moxie Life Planner and she had some questions about stickers that I use from Christian Designs in a daily. So I wanted to take you through kind of what it's like to shop as a first time buyer from Christian Designs because there's some things that um, it takes you a little bit to get used to. So we're going to run through these pretty quick and then I'm going to show you how I set up some different days. The first thing when you go to a listing that you're going to see is an option to have it unbound or ready for a binder. So this is literally the difference, whether there's a hole punch or not. Um, I generally always choose the hole punch and store my stickers in binders. Um, the exception is stickers like this that I use frequently and I store them in the back of my planner, in like the folder back here. So it's just easier to fit, slide in, store, so that's the first um, selection that you're going to have when you're choosing um, a sticker sheet. The next one that you're going to have is about transparency. This won't exist for all stickers, but most it will. So a transparent sticker is, as you might imagine, transparent. So that is to say you can see through it. Whereas a regular sticker is not. So it depends if you want to be able to see your planner or not um, through it. Kind of depends on what you're covering up and whether you want to layer things. Um, just as a heads up, the transparent sticker sheets are 25 cents more than the regular sticker sheets. So that is the next option that you will encounter. The one after that is going to be sticker sheet size. And I don't have two of the same sticker sheets readily available, but pretend these are the same. So this is a mini and this is a signature. So um, if these were the same, you would notice that basically this large work would be smaller. Actually, I do have a work. Maybe. It's not the same sheet, but it's a little bit closer. So you can see this work is larger than this work. So if they're stickers you're gonna be using in a smaller planner, then you probably want the mini sheet. If they're going to be used in a larger planner, you probably want the signature sheet. And the last thing that you'll run into on most listings is color choice. So I pulled these um, washi strips as a good reference for this because these really show the colors very well. So these are the colors that you're gonna be given an option for. Bold, pastel, gem tones, colorful, and grayscale. So they're in order here. And you're gonna notice that when you receive the stickers, they're gonna be in that same order numbered here. So this is a bold pastel gem tones, colorful, and grayscale. One, I guess, bonus thing that is um, a difference in the stickers. These stickers that I'm holding right here are selective texture, as Kristen officially likes to call them. Um, I call them ribbed because that's what are to me. So I don't know if you can see in the light here, but if you see there, um, there are parts that are raised. So they're like these washi strips in particular are very pleasing to touch. Um, so you'll, you'll notice that um, if they're selective texture, they'll have an ST in the listing. And if you don't see that ST, then it's just a, a normal um, matte sticker like this, like You'll notice there's no texture here. So the, the ST stickers are a little bit newer to the shop and they're really special, um, really kind of fun to use. Okay, so now that you know the general overview of when you're buying a sticker sheet, the things that you need to choose and the options, I wanted to go through a week that I set up, almost a week, I didn't do all the days. And they're all out of order because I was just kind of Playing. These are all, just transparently, these are all mock setups. I didn't, none of these are really exactly a day that I would have, um, but they're all things that I thought might be interesting to show in a planner so that you could have a good idea of how to set up um, any given day. So we'll start with Thursday. Okay, so for Thursday, um, I'm going to have, this sticky note has a list of all of the items that I used for this day. And I will also have a um, list of links in the description box. Um, it'll be marked Thursday so that you know 
what I used and I'm going to show you right now. So this kit um, is from the floral collection of 2022 and this in particular was February's. So um, as you can see I used some of the florals here on kind of the large decor. I used a full box just to add a quote so these are the other stickers that would come on that sheet. I used this little strip of washi um, to differentiate my home tasks from work tasks. Obviously there's tons of things you could do here to decorate any part of this sheet. And then for the Moxie Life, I like to use these. Um, this is the Moxie Life A5 specific sheet um, up here to show the day and date. And then lastly, I pulled this work sticker that is transparent um, just to denote that this is work and there's my schedule. So variants. If you like this idea, but say you don't like red or pink, well, I've got you. Maybe one of these months appeals to you are the color schemes. This is January. You already saw February. Here's March. Here's April. May. June. July, August, September, October, November, and December. So basically that is to say you can find this same layout in 12 different color schemes. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The other say you're like, well, I like the little bit of floral up here, but like this is way too much for me. I, I wouldn't want that. Then let's look at some of the other sheets that are available. I don't have all of them. I do have a lot of them. So, um, I mean, anything here, like you could put a checklist and, you know, list out your to-do items. You could use these, you know, days of the week instead of using this up here. And this sheet would be good. This is one I really like. Um, this is Torn Edges. And I will often use it to cover up some of the bottom stuff here. These large squares, circles. This sheet's pretty cool because it has five different weeks that you could use this from. You would just need to add dates. So for one sticker sheet, you get five weeks of usage out of it. Some sayings. The sheet that I showed you before. This one's nice if you have things you want to note like you can uh, write on the banners or draw attention to something there's the floral you've seen these are event scripts and then different sizes of washi some more boxes i have duplicates of some of this um i bought it when it was on sale so got lots of stuff so this is one day and the materials that um, are shown here are listed on this post-it note. I think you could definitely get through this week. You would use up this entire sheet for sure. Um, but you would like, I mean, you definitely wouldn't use up all these and you would likely have some leftovers here depending on how decorative you wanted to get. So um, this, these totals don't necessarily mean that it's this much for the entire week. You would, you'd have leftovers basically. Here is Monday that I set up in this planner. So in this case, we have five items that I used. I used the Monday puffy um, script for the day of the week. Um, I used a stencil in several different places, and this is the Go Wild stencil. Um, so it was the stencil that we received at Go Wild if you sat at a CAD table, but it's also available for purchase on the website. I used um, the Thankful Four. So this is a sticker I really like. Um, this is what it looks like in the sheet. So thankful for, and you can, you know, list different things. I used one of Katie Kay's um, script stickers for reading. And so basically reading, what book am I reading? I, I am really reading Fourth Wing right now. Um, I'm listening to the audiobook and really, really enjoying it. And then I pulled one of these positivity scripts. Um, so right here, and this one is transparent. And so that was just kind of something I added in. So for this one, um, the stencil I used pretty much all throughout here, all these are mostly stencil components. This one I just used the same stencil like I think five different times just to kind of make a different kind of looking box. 
Um, this is what I imagined as like a self-care day. And again, with um, variants to this, so the thankful for, I'll show you. So different color variants. This is back to the different um, color schemes. There's the pastel, et cetera. There, and then there's also more of this as a sticker and then less of that. So kind of a different way to think about um, gratitude, positivity, um, what you're looking for. Um, let's see. The Okay, so the positivity scripts I have here. So again, it's just different color variants. These I, I got all um, in transparent. And here's actually a good example of um, a small versus a larger sheet. So I have the little ones too. That would be more suitable for a smaller planner or if you just want it to take up less real estate. And then um, for the days of the week, puffy, Again, there's other color variants. Um, and then there is also a grayscale one that you'll see I use in a different day um, here pretty soon. So again, just options. Um, if you like the way that this is set up, like this color scheme, then um, I will have in the description box a list of links to the specific items that you would use to purchase this kind of setup. All right, so for Wednesday, let me show you what I used. So I pulled out this gradient washi, rainbow gradient. Um, oops, you can't even see. Um, I pulled out this rainbow gradient washi and put it at the bottom. I used um, the puffy numbers. Um, I picked the, the day that would be appropriate and used that in conjunction with a KDK Plans um, day of the week script. So this is her right handwriting. Um, and this is transparent. This one is not um, just, I mean, you can see they, it looks effectively fine together, so. And then on the today, that's another KDK sheet. And then the um, brain dump down here, which hopefully you can, you can see it's like a brain dump, literally, um, which I think is funny. So this is the sheet for that. And so washi, um, the, this is a washi that Kristen sells. Um, I pulled some variants. Um, so these came out pretty recently, um, all the different grids and the different colors, as well as the like blackout with color. Um, I love these. These stay on my desk all the time because they're just so versatile. Here's this one is blackout with the rainbow. I just, I love these. So very, very um, useful and can be used in just about any spread. So here's the list of materials for this Wednesday as I set it up. And again, it'll be in the description box um, with the links. Sunday, you're going to notice is pretty similar to the floral day that I previously showed. So this is the 2023 Celestial um, series that Kristen has come out with. So in this case, I used the Moxie Life A5 uh, day header and date. I didn't use the washi, but I did pull it. Um, I used the Torn Edges mini journaling sheet for just kind of some accents. Um, yeah, all four of these stickers came off of there, as well as the full boxes, um, just to add a quote in here. And so this one, yeah, it's only the three sheets. Is that three? Yeah, three sheets. Um, and this is, again, um, like the floral, this is one that comes in all different color combos. Um, so this is the color scheme uh, for January. Here's February, March. Um, this year, you saw April. This is what April is. May. June, 
and that's all that I have so far. So any substitutions you wanted to make there for um, different colors, really easy to do. So here are the three sheets that I used in this setup. And here is Tuesday. So this one um, just went with plain black and white um, in case you're someone that doesn't enjoy a lot of color. So I used the black and white grid washi. I used a number as well as a day of the week, just in the black and white. Um, this one's transparent, this is not. Again, looks, looks fine together. Um, I used the noted sticker. This is where I like to take notes on my daily. And then I used this stencil which is the um, six millimeter line spacing. Um, you would look for um, simple checklists is the name of the stencil. And the six millimeter is basically how far apart the boxes and lines are. Um, and in the drop down for choosing the size, Kristen lists the planners that correspond to them. Um, Moxie Life is six millimeters in every single item that they have whether it's an A5, a 7x9, companion notebooks, just the, the regular dot grid notebooks, everything is always six millimeters. So I, I love that about Moxie Life. It's like one size fits everything. Um, but if you have an Erin Condren or something else, um, it'll be listed there so you can figure out which size is appropriate for the planner that you use. Um, but because every planner is different, you know, the boxes won't necessarily line up unless you get the right one. So here I just... Um, I, I think I've only used the stencil for, oh, I used it for these check boxes as well. So um, this is um, just a black and white day. And again, it would be another substitution that if you wanted just a little bit of color, you know, choose a different washi um, and you'd have something different. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm hoping that this gave you a good... Um, idea of possibly how you would want to set up your dailies um, and the different options that um, Kristen has on her website for stickers and kind of all the different ways that you can mix and match. Okay, going back in this planner a little bit, um, I had to remove the cat from the desk. These are some of my um, previous weeks. So this was a um, summer 2023 celebrations collection kit. Actually give you a chance to look at what I did here. And you can see some days I use my daily more than others. Still kind of trying to figure out my vibe. And I just recently s separated from um, personal and work in my dailies. This is uh, this week. So this was a um, $2 Tuesday kit. And then we jumped to the samples that I made for this. So... Again, I, I hope that this helped. Um, if you have any questions about um, stickers and shopping on Chrisanne Designs, it took me a while to get the knack of it. Um, and so I'm happy to share any tips that I have with you or links. Um, I do have a affiliate link to her website in my description box. Um, so if you use that link, I do earn a small commission off of it, um, just to transparently let you know of that. Um, if you choose to use it, I appreciate it. And obviously I <laughs> use the proceeds to buy more stickers. So you'll just continue giving back to um, what you're already seeing. Either way, um, I hope that you have a great day. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Bye.